Oh, today's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. 6.3 is all about estimating sums and differences with fractions. So we're gonna be using this number line here that I've drawn for you, and we're gonna look at fractions, and we're going to determine whether that fraction is closer to zero, one half, or one whole. Those are gonna be the benchmarks that we use to round our numbers or estimate our fractions. And then we're going to add or subtract depending on the operation. So if that kind of didn't make a lot of sense, it will by the end of this, I promise. Look at the problem that you see there. Two and three fifths minus one and three eighths. This is one of the very few times that I'm going to tell you you don't have to worry about getting common denominators. I want you to simply look at the fraction. Don't even worry about the whole numbers at this point. Just look at the three-fifths and look at the three-eighths. Where would I find that three-fifths on my number line? Would it be closer to the zero? Would it be closer to the one-half? Or would it be closer to the three-eighths? Now for this, you're going to have to use your visualizing skills. You can draw a picture if you wanted to and see if that helps you. Or, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use a picture. I'm going to draw a picture of three-fifths, and I'm going to see what I think. So here's my fraction bar, and I'm going to cut it into fifths. Eight of those 
pieces. It sounds to me like almost that whole entire fraction bar is colored in. It only has one little piece that hasn't been colored in. So for that, I'm going to say that it's going to round to a one. One whole, seven eighths is closest to one whole. So I'm going to take that one whole and I'm going to put it with my other one whole that I have here to give me two whole to give me two. My next one here, my one over two, my one half. I'm going to think to myself that I have a fraction and I cut it into two pieces and then I shade one of those pieces. Wow, well if that's not one half, I don't rightly know what is. I mean, it's literally one half. And then I bring my whole number straight down. This operation also has me subtracting. So now I have two dollars and I subtract one and a half dollars. This gives me half a dollar left. I have two holes. I'm going to subtract my half first. And then subtract the whole. And I am left with just half of that square pizza. Poor square pizza. So for this next problem, I want you to try it on your own. Please pause the pant pause the bleh. please pause the video. Solve the problem and see how you do. So when I looked at this problem, I said one eighth is really close to zero. Out of eight pieces, only one of them is colored in. So I made my fraction, I estimated my fraction to be zero. And then my other fraction, three fourths, I said is really close one whole. So I estimated the three-fourths to be one whole. So then I simply subtracted four minus one to give me a difference of three. I truly hope that you were able to successfully answer that question and had a wonderful time estimating sums and differences. I hope to see every single one of your smiley faces in class tomorrow and truly hope that you have a wonderful evening. Well, bye.